love it when Maria comes into the studio because Neville becomes a bit more alive. I can't invite Mark to demand Maria. More and more and welcome. Morning. How are we this morning? No, I can't complain. How are we? Dr. Nev, you, uh, seem, uh, you seem alive and awake and can, can fully I just, here. Can you you want to make me an issue in, in people's marital homes? Ah, can no, I just talk worry. to you? <laughs> eh? Yes. Maria just walked in here this morning. Mm. First time I see Maria in a, in a dress. No, I've seen her. No, in no. Dress Say it's first time in a long time. First time in a long time. Mm. But it's, it hasn't happened in quite a while. I don't really like it to wear huh? dresses. I don't really why? Like yeah. Yeah, but I also want to know why Why don't you like dresses? That leg, nah. I know you are an advocate, you know, an activist against harassment and stuff like that. But can we just arrest you just for today? I must, like I told you of a, when we dress like this, there's also a sign somewhere on our body that what? says still not asking for it. No, but we give it for free. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you don't have to ask. We're offering. <laughs> <laughs> but you look Crazy. lovely today, Maria. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, a happy birthday to Manier Maria Scriven. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Maria Scriven. Who track you from that? 212. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been the lo- like I said December I've, in a joke I said December's been the longest year November no December but December only started yesterday. exactly Ta. <laughs> we have a lot of long years this <laughs> in this season Ooh. I guess uh, also uh, DJ Dion celebrating his birthday today by Marius your name is Dion so it's like a Dion birthday yeah. special today Dion, Dion is his second name I mm. believe yeah <laughs> happy birthday to you guys and uh, good morning to the rest of you welcome to the morning mix welcome to our live stream on Informante's Facebook page to those of you that are just joining us I see my producer I think he's even in the shot at the moment that black guy's head that you see <laughs> Heel van Andag. Soek jy Andag. Da kan my aai, asof jy nie ken nie, as hy. Yeah, all right, guys. <laughs> We've got quite... Um, A lot to get through. Yes, indeed. So, maybe... Like, kom, kom ons Maria, jy hou van stories, nee? Nee, ja. In Katatura, we call you people story ngas. Ah, ah, the difference between me and Katatura people is mine is credible. <laughs> It's not that story, Lori. Yeah, I can't wait for V. I can't have a to Max say that. No, 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 no. No, no those are not the stories we're busy with. Tell us the deeper stories. All right, we're talking about the Fish Rod 6 for this morning. Um, uh, it truly is a, a, a cancer in, in our administration. This, uh, uh, and we don't even know how far it's going to go. But there has been a, a lot of developments yesterday. We didn't mm-hmm. really talk about the story. And there's a lot that happened yesterday. So maybe, Maria, just give us a, a little factual update before we start chewing on it. All right. Um, so we now know that the, um, those implicated, as we call them now, the Fish Rod Six, mm-hmm. um, made a, uh, their third court appearance in court yesterday at the Vendok Magistrate Court, it was for a bail application. That's what we understood it to be. Yeah. Mm. Um, prior to the bail hearing, we had protesters outside um, demonstrating against uh, the granting of bail. Mm. We had uh, quite a, a crowd there, I must say, yeah. because it was during work, work hours mm. uh, with posters and you know, people were mad. Mm. Um, and then the six made their brief court appearance and um, the court was informed that they are not, did not, have, did not submit um, an application, uh-huh. a bail application. So uh, no reason was given by mm. their uh, defense lawyers, yeah. but um, it was said that it was, um, um, that the state and the defense had agreed upon it no bail. Uh, of the no bail uh, and the case uh, was postponed to the 20th of February 2020 now as we saw again and I think all the news platforms but including Informante more importantly uh, we saw uh, the angry mob still standing outside court waiting for those police vans to go by mm. and, um, and this was after it was clear that they are not um, getting, bail. Yeah. getting bail or did not submit an application yeah, bail for application, bail. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, people were still mad. 
Never. I think people are going to be <clears throat> mad for a long time. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of speculation. Why? Right? We're getting into the why. Because I'm sure that's why everybody's tuning in today. Why? Why they didn't get bail or why they didn't apply. I never had a theory yesterday, which uh, kind of stuck with me, of why <laughs> they wouldn't want bail. That uh, it's safer in prison. Uh, no, that, uh, the, the, uh, that also. Former minister doesn't want to have to go answer to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, like she's, she's like, definitely gonna kill me. Like I'll, I'll take my chances in here. <laughs> I'm, uh, sorry, but you know, if I'm if I was in the minister's position, knowing by now, come on, the news must have filtered through. Of course, of the 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 the, the documentary on Sunday night, mm. or not just on Sunday night, of of exactly what was said on YouTube. Um, it's the same document. It's, it's the same mm, documentary, by the way. It is the same documentary, yeah. but that part of of ESO yeah, they talking cut it about out. that was cut out. Yeah, the know. one of the lap dance. The yeah. lap dance. <laughs> why? Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why it was cut out? So, so I'm just saying again. You know, if I was in his shoes, and my lawyer comes to me, I say, okay, uh, uh, Mr. ESO, <laughs> your bail application. What would you prefer? Your bail application, the terms and conditions will say, ah, ah, eggplay, yes, okay. I'm not going anywhere, so because you see, I'm scared, I'm more scared for of my wife than for the government. <laughs> the prison. Yeah, I'll stay in prison, it's fine. I don't need to go in because you seriously yeah. do to have that amount of stress and still to go home. Mm where your house needs to be your sanctuary and you still have to go and explain that to your wife. Yes. I, I don't think... It you complain be. about buying me Brazilian hair, but you are paying 14000 for one girl. Yeah. What, so, what things yeah. are those? Um, I, I'm but on a serious note, mm. Um, mm. I, did, I did consult with lawyers to just mm. find out, or rather get the opinion on, on why. They said um, the two that I spoke to all had actually shared the same sentiment. They said this was actually very strategic on their part. It was actually a, a very smart move because if they had applied for bail, they would have most likely been grant, uh, denied bail mm. because of um, two, th mo two main elements was that um, investigations are still... Ongoing? On, not just ongoing, they're still at the early stages. Yeah. And um, the public outcry, which we also know is a contributing factor in, in uh, mm. bail being denied. Mm. So right now, there's just too much anger. There's too much going on. The investigations that are very, very early stages. So it, it would, it's better to rather postpone it mm. for when you have a better chance of getting the bail. Now, do I think they're only going to wait till the 20th of February? Of course not. I th they, they have... Uh, at any point, they can come and apply for that bail, for bail yeah. before the 20th of, of February. And I, and I suspect they will do as much. But they'll probably spend Christmas and New Year's, I think, in jail. And maybe wait for a little bit for the things to, to... For it to die down a bit. To yeah. die down again. Not that I think it will. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the anger in the beginning is always the worst. Mm. Um and yeah, and probably like will policy and a bail application. My prediction is either mid January or towards the end of January, um, just before February. That's my prediction. Uh, but like, let's wait and see. I mean, the guys, I guess, are playing strategic. Um, I'm sure I even joked about it. I said, Saki was probably in jail giving them a PowerPoint presentation with his legal mind of why they should <laughs> sit. <laughs> Until next year. He almost found PowerPoints there. <laughs> Never mind. You know the, the the. I'm shutting up. Like like Maria is saying, I also don't think um, it's gonna die down. Uh, yeah, if no, anything, it's, it's probably gonna start uh, picking up steam or picking up speed. As more people get implicated. Yes, as more people are getting implicated. Yo. I mean, this morning I had. Um, some unconfirmed information that there are like uh, I think seven arrest warrants. Yeah, that's are out unconfirmed. There. I'm sure it's being circulated now, but it's um, mm. <coughs> let's just be clear, it's unconfirmed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I I, th I think one of the most painful angles to to this to this whole Fisherod scandal is the fact that um, I just read in the one of the dailies this morning mm. um, that they spoke to some of the the fishermen who lost their jobs and lost their lives and then lost their lives and 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 just the outcry from these guys who lost their jobs in the last couple of years the amount of suicides
uh, mm. amongst themselves the uh, the the amount of of of, of illnesses mm. um, contracted the high blood pressure etc because of the situation that, that these guys found themselves into mm. I, it's a ripple I, effect for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it's a ripple effect, and I, and I, you know, guys, I I hope, I hope government can relook at this situation. I don't know how, but um, there must be some form of compensation for these guys beyond of what they have been doing um, in the past, because that's, these guys that, have lost their livelihood. That's a slip, a, a slippery slope. Yeah, Neville. Mm. Um, I mean, I understand. I understand mm. why why. <laughs> on a sentimental level why you would want to mm. go down that route but now remember there are other sectors and we don't know how much corruption is actually going um, go, um, I mean, how far it extends yes how far it extends mm. and, and uh, what other <coughs> sectors of the economy are also affected so at the end of the day you might have to even pay us radio presenters <laughs> who are out of jobs you, it, I just, <coughs> you're very right because when, when I was looking at that um, documentary by Al Jazeera. Mm. One thing that continuously stuck out is that these guys are not rookies. Yeah, they seem to very comfortable mm. asking for those like mobile phones and the amounts and the rounding off. Those they were very. There was you, business you, you, as usual. It's, it's, it, it just looked like it was business as usual. Like mm. these people have been doing this. Yeah, mm. because you, you can always see somebody like when the rookie is doing it. It's like there's a bit of more. You would expect them to be more fidgety. Like how mm. much can I really? You won't even start with two hundred. Two hundred thousand US is a lot of money, by the way. <laughs> That's like money, yeah. in excess of like almost three million. Mm. You know, for just <clears throat> hooking you up. Obviously, yeah. there will still be other kickbacks. Of yeah. course. You understand? And, and that, doesn't, that amount didn't sound like somebody that is just starting off yeah. with this type of corruption. Yeah, I, I remember the, uh, in the documentary, there's a point where the... Where the, where the um, you finally watched it? I know I was watching bits and pieces. Oh, I... This I can tell her, say, the politics in this country is giving me gray hair. Mm. I, I cannot look like my father. I'm too young to look like my father <laughs> right now. So, <clears throat> in any case, yeah, so, so the, the reporter or the, you know, business person, whatever, is asking, so are you sure if we do it this way, um, you know, it's, it's going to work. The money is going to end up where it needs mm. to go. And then he says, yes, we, we know it's going to work. That's why we are doing it this way. We've done it this way before. Yeah, they'll ask yeah. at least three or four times. Yes. In the in the in the in the documentary, have you guys done this before? Yes. On three or four times. I mean with, with Mike the Mike that's now Dipunya mm. that's a CEO of he, he even he admitted like I always do this for for Saki Amomo. Like, mm. yeah, I know I always know they ask, is this the first time? Like, no, I always do this for yeah. him. Yeah. Saki Amomo has been asked, like, no, bro, we do this a lot of times. This mm. is why we're telling you use this reference use, number. Yes. Yeah. You know, so uh, um, they were I, like I think I counted the total three or four times um, where it was repeated that we have done this before. Yes, we have done this before, and that's why I guess it was easy to trap them. Hey, comfortable, Mos. Comfortable. We've done it a million times. Like we've times. been a million times. We've never been caught. Why would we get caught this time? <laughs> Yo, guys, it's crazy. That's what I'm saying. This, 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 this extends to, like. Very, very far. And I, uh, I saw a lot of people on social media, they've now started pulling up like past stories that involves just those that were implicated. They're now questioning the Namdia uh, diamond deal. Mm. There are questions, exactly, there's so many questions around a lot of this business, the, the fuel storage. Mm. I saw that. It's just so much there now. Now I think like the blinkers are off. Like you can yeah. kind of start looking at the, at the, at the pattern. Yeah. And just by the way, this is Connecting one, the dots. Yeah. And then just by the way, like even I, to hear, it's even straight. I heard and on, on record and um, this was on like the, <laughs> whew, am I, I'm, I'm trying to see if I'm throwing anybody under the bus, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> like I have it on good record, for example, like in, in 20, 2014, um, Saki Shangala suggested or wanted to, to, you know, during this amendment of the constitution, mm. he, there was a suggestion, just a suggestion. It wasn't like it was, it never came to fruition, but it was a suggestion mm. about um, sitting ministers not being persecuted. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. You know? Mm. Um, but it was did, uh, rejected. No, it didn't even go to the point where they are lobbying for it. Mm. Yeah. It, it, was, it was just a suggestion. Mm. Yeah. But this was in, around yeah, seeds, just yeah. you know, kind of yeah. But mm. it it but it just kind of shows 
how careless. apart from devious and just really rotten it's like careless. he's in he's thinking this guy was always far thinking ahead. far far ahead mm. 10 it's five a, five ten years ahead it's of organized everybody. crime he's not sitting on his brain mm. clearly that is organized crime you're trying to yes it's really <laughs> trying to premeditate maria, yes, it's maria can you just say that again slowly what 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 was the allegation <laughs> Because it's it's very important. I read I read this myself. Yeah, yeah. So so what he was trying to do is he tried to amend. No, the during co- okay. Let me just get this during the constitutional amendments. Yes. Right. Um, which we know now got a lot of, well, you know there was a lot of um, negativity around some of this. You know, increasing seats, changing this, giving more power to the president by increasing his appointment, then even getting the president to appoint. I think in in military whatever you know uh, there was a lot, but um, <coughs> in 2014 he proposed criminal impunity mm. from per, uh, prosecution for ministers. <laughs> so if you are a sitting minister, mm. just like there is all by the way the the criminal impunity is on, on only on the president yes. now you mm. you, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. prosecute uh, yeah. a sitting president head of yeah. state, but he wanted to extend that to ministers. This is in 2014 when we now know he was already busy with this fish rot. Mm. And this was a suggestion Mm. he made. Mm. It's like, okay, if I ever get caught one day. Yeah. I don't want to be prosecuted. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. That's devious. (laughs) Uh, Tronix Shiweda saying, good morning, fam. Uh, What I really want is proof that they are really in prison. Can one of the media please go undercover and find out if they are in prison and in what condition they are? I just don't trust this government anymore. Can I <clears> comment <throat> on that? Yeah, uh, they, uh, somebody also commenting saying they are in cell six in town. <laughs> Can I? I, I want to comment on that. Um, there, there seems to be, and I understand why. There's a lot of um, comments like like that. Are they really in prison? What type of they? They probably like. Mm. Uh, in fancy uh, cells and whatever. But I can tell you right now and. I know because um, I know people that went to go see them and stuff like that. I almost said because you've been to prison. No, oh no. (laughs) Oh no. I'm scared of prison, guys. I'm afraid of prison. So, also. You you guys don't even realize when the city police was here talking about fine. The first thing I did went to go, I called city police. I was like, do I have a fine? Is there anything on my name? Is there anything on my name? Ah, I'm scared scared of prison. Anyway. No, because I know people that went there. And. um, the people that I spoke to that had gone there, just they really said that they were shocked um, at the prison. They actually, they really did also think they went there thinking, ah, you know, there's some luxuries special here. Special treatment. A special treatment. They said there is really no special treatment. Like, um, the Maria, how far out is it? Uh, where it's, where it's exactly near, is it's it? It's near Jose Akutako. Airport. Mm-hmm. Near the airport. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, they 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 usually put. Uh, but even if you read in the news, if you Google that, I think two or three years ago, there were mm-hmm. complaints from even <coughs> inmates there that said, this 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 place is dilapidated. Can you mm. guys is it? Yeah, fix it up? Yeah. Um, and um, it's it's apparently horrendous. It's not what we think. It's not a holiday. And also, you need to remember, I, I also do understand that these people are put on suicide watch. Now, suicide watch doesn't mean that they are suicidal necessarily. Mm. It just means, you know, like security has to be upped because if anything were to happen to imagine that one of them does commit suicide mm. right now. We're almost mm. going to think it's a kandara, mm-hmm. right? Even yes. if... It was a legitimate suicide. So the state understands that we cannot afford for any of these guys yeah. to die while in, in, in prison. So they are on a kind of suicide watch, for lack of a better word. Mm. And that also means they can't get food from outside. What does that mean? They prison can't, costs, yeah. Because, because of poison, poisoning, the, the risk of poisoning or mm. being poisoned. So they can't get, like, their family is not there bringing KFC. Like, it's not allowed for them specifically. For other mm. inmates, fine, but not for them because of the suicide watch. Mm. So they actually have to eat prison food. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, everything that comes in has to be sealed. So, um, yeah, so I think people think, like, they're in a lap of luxury. No, they, they really are not. It's, it's, it's a real, real prison. They, and also, the other thing also people need to remember is even the... Police wardens and 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 yeah. pri- prison wardens, they're also angry. Mm. They're also angry because I'm sure their relatives are also affected. Everybody's angry about this, for sure. So, of course, they're not getting special treatment when even the police officers that are guarding them are also pissed off at them. 
Nobody is mm. getting special treatment. She's like, where's my shit? <laughs> <coughs> okay, speaking of what people think, uh, let's get to your comments. Shaks to your face. Maria, how are you, love? Oh, okay, hello. S- Maria is a dress on. Uh, Maria, stand up so we see what Neville <laughs> is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Tenga Kia saying good morning, crew. Uh, greetings to you all. It's my birthday too. So, good, happy birthday, oh, Serafia. We got a bell me to so any ochen. Serafia Nadunya, happy birthday. Wait. You need an iPhone. No, I don't want an you iPhone. You can't afford one. With two sim cards. I don't have a country to sell. <laughs> so, I can't get an iPhone. Just yes. <laughs> uh, Lamek uh, Timotheus. Ah, this guy Neville. Biza Black saying uh, more morning mix. I never give the Queen of Facts a high five for me. Um, Queen of Facts uh, is Maria. Uh, oh, way I'ma take that. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, talk about the daughter. Whose daughter? Ah, we don't want to bring people's family members yeah. in this. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that's another thing that we also do need to address. I'm seeing a lot of it on, on, on social media. What, um, the daughter? No, no, not the daughter, just the relatives. They're, yeah. they're, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're coming for relatives now and mm. family and friends and whatever. Um, the danger in all of that is it becomes a witch hunt. Now, you see, when, 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 when you're implicating people in such, like when you're thinking of the, the um, uh, fish rod six, yeah. right? Mm. And those... Uh, around them and the dealings around them. Okay, you need first to remember that money will trickle down. Meaning, yes, service providers will be paid for. They will have nannies. They will have caterers coming to their house occasionally, mm. maybe for birthdays, paying for that. Mm. They will buy uh, Mercedes Benz. They will bring in an electrician. They will have builders. They mm. will have, you know, service providers. Life right? goes on. Life mm. goes on, right? Mm. And to 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 go even further, they will have relatives that, for example, they pay for school fees for yeah. because you know mm. people in the family see them as the people that are doing well in life. <coughs> mm, yes. You know, um, they will send money to a funeral over there, a wedding over there, um, maybe help build uh, a sibling's house over there, and so forth. These things happen. Mm. It's, it's it's money, right? Mm-hmm. But when you start coming for those other people that benefited indirectly. Right, because when I say indirectly, it's because their names are not the ones on the documents. They were yeah. not the people that were dealing, willing, and dealing. Mm. Right? When you, then it becomes a witch hunt because, like I said, the money does extend far. It goes very far. Then you're going to start blaming slay queens that way. They, or you're going to start blaming the women that were in in in. Uh, relationships, relationships with them or whatever with mm-hmm. because like I said the money goes far it's very important to put in the element of self enrichment when looking at people right mm, yeah. did this person was a, an element of self enrichment meaning you knew what they were up to and you got involved in this business knowing that and you wanted to enrich yourself mm. or you got in knowing that what you're doing is illegal but you wanted to enrich yourself the element of e- Self enrichment has to be considered. Otherwise, you're going to be coming for even like people like that, the S house wives or all of all. I believe all of them are married, with the exception. No, actually, only two of them are married. I think it's just the. It's just Fiti and Esa. Yeah. And Esa. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, just you're going to be coming for their partners as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of times, like these women also didn't know like what their partners were up to, you know? Um, and they can't be blamed. Like I said, it becomes a witch hunt. So, yeah. like, let us be uh, like, I don't listen. Like, I understand there's anger, but like, I, I don't want us to deflect by putting blame where it doesn't belong. Exactly. Like, unless these people in relationships with them were used, like we now see with Pius, uh, the cousin of James, he's in prison with them because yeah. he was also now used for the man, money but, but laundering. Yeah. Mm. Please explain that guy's position. Because, what I understand. Because, because the thing is, Everybody, and there, there seems to be, Maria, there seems to be a, a high hierarchy mm-hmm. in, in, in the way that these guys are walking yes. towards uh, yes. the camera. Yes. You can I see this guy, this guy is in front, yes. and then you have Fitty next, and then, then you have Ricardo, Ricardo, then you have James, then you have James, and then, then you have Saki, Saki and, and then you have, yes. it seems like a hierarchy. It is, it is, and apart from all of that, mm. um, I, I picked it up the first day, because you need, you need to remember the first day when they came in, yeah. I think um, Saki was number three. Mm. And then all of a sudden, they started switching themselves. Mm. And mm. since they switched themselves, mm. that has been the order. 
Yeah. That has been the order. And there is a hierarchy, by the way. Mm. Like the, the least important guy comes in the front to shelter yeah. for the media, yeah. whatever. Mm. And uh. the, the one that's being protected the most is all the way at the back. Yeah. That actually, it, 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 like the next comment I have here was, I guess, about that. Let me just read it so we can yeah. continue. Uh, Maria, what crime did the guy always first in the queue, Mwetulo, commit? Nothing yeah. is really clearly written about him. Yeah. Um, what I understand, I did ask. Um, what I understand is he seemed to have his company. He, he's related. We now know he's related to, to James. I'm not we okay. now. Know, I, have, I have known, but like mm. some people are just learning now that mm. he's related to James. Okay. Um, he seemed to have registered, and he also works for James and Hanganini, which is fine. That's a legitimate business. That's, mm. not, really the, that's not the issue. Mm. The issue is I think, he, I believe he has a company that was used for some of this money laundering. Mm. So money mm. would go into his account, and from his account then, it would be mm. taken somewhere. It's the same. It's almost the same with Ricardo, mm. where he was in charge of this Namagar or what Nam Nam mm. Namgamar or whatever you want to call mm. it, and money came there, and then he would take that money and divert it. Um, so yeah, uh, Pius Taxa was used for that purpose. It's, it's my understanding. Okay. Um, more comments. Uh, good morning, Gaten. Welcome to the morning mix. Good morning, guys from Richard Hankard, uh, Hafeni. Can Dulunge Pietris morning crew freeze the accounts, auction the assets? Uh, uh, this is a crazy morning mix. <laughs> yeah. uh, LM, <clears throat> that is the Nakathila Angula. Uh, the country has lost uh, so much money in Erongo. First, it was uh, the XCCS and now the fish rat. It's crazy. Uh, Nangula Ndinoshinge Numbembe, morning. I am shocked of all this corruption happening in our country and our people are suffering. I lost cattle because of the drought and government is not doing anything I know to it's help minuscule. the farmers. Mm. It's minuscule. Corruption is minuscule. Yeah. Helen David, Dr. Itula won, FYI. Uh. Um, <laughs> okay. Shut your face, Nanyemba. In your face. So, let me just put it out there. Itula won. Bro, Cubase, the most uh, painful is that we completed our studies, but we can't find uh, vessels. They all deserve bullets. I hate nonsense. I, I, I. Yo. Okay. Um, okay. Opinions. Please, that's crime. Opinions, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, CJ Kaiverwa, Neville, say that again. Mukuruanje, laugh out loud. <laughs> What did I say now again? Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> just go replay, <laughs> replay the video. Uh, Tronic Shiweda, yeah. Uh, good morning, fam. Okay, I already read this one about uh, whether they are really in prison. Uh, I was super, super disappointed after watching that documentary from Verona mm -hmm. Hours. Yes, you should be. Yeah. Um, uh, Erasmus H. Shipwata. Good morning, guys. Uh, greetings from Morocco. It's been seriously sad news to see such acts of corruption committed by our own Namibians. Right, The president has to re-look at his cabinet ministers for really this time, otherwise Swapo Party will cease to exist in the future. Um, Nerina Eugene September, he was trying to save his ass a long time ago. Impunity to the ministers. Uh, Gaten Curtis, part-time Oh, no, part that killed me, the part that killed me was when Saki said he didn't know a company he owns receive, uh, received money and that uh, they hadn't declared their dividends for some time now. For five years, yeah. just they haven't like, declared dividends for five yeah. years. Did he say five years? I thought he said a long time. Double. double he said five years. WTF. Yeah, no, you guys could be right. Yeah. I didn't watch. I don't care. Uh, Nangula no. Dinoshinge Numbembe. Things, or maybe we can look at it ourselves and decide whether they... I say again... There's, there's so much that we know mm. out here on the ground, mm. just in the general public, that it baffles me that the ACC who are supposedly sitting, don't understand or don't know about this information. Who are supposed to just be oblivious about sitting it. and investigating this no, man. the whole time. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I mean, the documentary, well, not, not the last, not the Al Jazeera, it's the other one that I had said that you should watch, the one that I said broke my heart, mm. where they went Maria, to... Maria, you need to send yes, that Yes, I'll again. send that. Mm. But there they, they, they speak extensively to uh, Mr. Paulus Noah in that documentary. And they even ask him, so as, he's, as this reporter is walking through like the corridor and is being shown the ACC, mm -hmm. he sees a picture of like... Um, like Noah in the whatever in the foyer mm. with Saki in there and um, mm -hmm. uh, the president in there and whatever. And the guy says, Oh, well, what is this? And he says, No, this was when um, um, 
I think I think at the time apparently uh, Saki was at law reform, mm. and I think uh, Hage was now prime minister, and this picture was taken. Mm. And then he's like, yeah, but um, then he asked him something about. So it must be tough then, like this were people mm. that you worked closely with, mm. you know, and m- might have even been your boss, so to say, mm. at, you know, as, as a minister of justice mm. and stuff like that. Mm. So is is it really? It must be difficult to prosecute. Them. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I try to play down, say, now, yeah, it is, yes, we, but, you know, we're doing our jobs. But it is, it's very interesting to look at. But mm. apart from uh, the other thing we need to address before we close off is the president's statement that also then commented on yeah. this fish rod six. Yeah. Now, we can't, uh, we, we don't do this uh, news bulletin uh, or this discussion any justice any if we justice. don't go into that. Yeah, of okay. course. Um, do you guys want me to, to, to first finish the comments? That's yeah, yeah. Oh, That's not a, yeah. a real like a party. Come on, let's by Alfredo. Look who's back. Uh, he changed the law. My gosh, Mr. Rara put a lot of thinking in it. Shoo! This Shanguizi Escobar is tough so bad. <laughs> no, please don't. In this case, Escobar was building schools and hospitals for his people. <laughs> Saki was buying handbags and cars for his side chicks. Uh, Eric Adriano Buchter, good morning, family. Thanks for the stream. We're watching all the way from Germany. Mm. Uh, thanks for joining us. Guten uh, Tag. Shandri Imogen Niels, morning, Maria and boys. Yo, <coughs> die is deep. Van Saki Baestot. Uh, mm. I think a couple of people didn't really know about the. Uh, you know, floating the idea of mm. impunity for ministers. Nadine Benz says, uh, I want to see them every day in the cell because uh, their smiles yesterday are yeah. <laughs> uh, Morning, guys, from uh, Jackie Braun. Don J, B2 Gold Mine, Cooks Gold 24 7 nonstop. Google how much we get from that deal. Then you Google how much one gold bar is worth. I think we get about 10% of, of, of what comes out, out of Peter Gold, but which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, Nadine Benz, uh, do you think they will inform us if they are living in la- a luxury life in there? <laughs> no, it's not a matter of informing, but like I said, <clears throat> there are people that were also that had gone to see them yeah, and that were also equally shocked at mm. actually what they found there. And apart from all of that, I said it also, it's, you need to remember that people that are there are also angry. Yeah. The police officers are also angry. The prison guards are also angry. So mm. it's not necessarily like they will let them live, you know, like luxuriously yeah. with all this anger that's, um, that's mounting. Maria, yeah. there's a, I, th- I think it was also floating around social media yesterday that um, mm. um, there's a street named after the, yes, yes. the former minister, in Bernard Yesau in Swakopmund. Yeah. I remember that we... I think with a few friends years ago, we had this this, this conversation or this discussion that that certain landmarks <coughs> should not be named after people who, who, are, who are still alive. I, I tweeted about it mm. yesterday. I said this is always mm. the danger in, re- in naming streets or landmarks after people who are still alive mm. because you don't know what's what's in store. Yeah. Like you should. I think it's something else to remember somebody mm. in death. Mm. By giving naming them after a street because of what they've done, the work they've done. Mm. But while they're still alive, mm. that memory can be tarnished in a mm. blink of an eye. We're not looking at the entirety of your yes. life yet, and there's a lot yes. of things that that can uh, happen. That can still happen. Yeah. I still want a street name in Karatura. Just but let you know. Know. must come up Penning Street <laughs> <coughs> for not talking, for keeping quiet about the money you are getting. Um, <laughs> Bradley Kubisep, uh, guys, should we make ourselves believe that the president's name was just being used? Any advice, Maria? Um, I don't, you know what, I, I've, I've also asked, uh, people have asked me that. I, I don't know, but it should definitely be investigated. Yeah. Um, so that um, either he's implicated or he's cleared. Uh, but if if names are going to be thrown around, and it is easy to use people's names that are mm. higher up, mm. uh, but it also it's not good enough to say, oh yeah, it's easy to use my name. It also should be, okay, but let's clear you. Yeah. Like, let us clear you and let's move forward. As long as there's speculation that he's involved, and I know there's a lot of speculation that is involved, the, the very least that he should do is like, say, you know what, open himself up to investigations in mm. that sense, mm. to just clear he, himself mm. and make sure that at least there is some semblance of, like, you know, just, um, how do I say, to bring... To calm the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to calm the situation. Yes, to, yeah. Just give us peace of mind. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Bokas says, uh, let them just eat fish. Morning fish, afternoon fish, night fish. 
But they it's wanted, expensive, guys. They wanted to steal fish yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Lucky Star is not expensive. No, Lucky Star is not. But you <laughs> know what I know. What I mean is, I've always complained that for a country that is rich in fish, yeah, fish is actually fish is more expensive than than chicken in this country. Yep. Yo 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 yo. You yo. never found it interesting, like hake, mm. six pieces, one hundred and thirty dollars. Ne. Yes. You know those box twice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Hey. Yes, because that's five dollars goes to Saki, five goes to James, <laughs> five goes to. That's why the prices are one high. One over there, one over there, <laughs> one over there, one over there. Uh, Alfred Ipinge. Latest news: Saki refuses to eat. Confirmed. Confirmed. How? Show me your receipt, please. Maybe he only wow. wants fish extra sharky. Okay, you guys deserve stand-up comedy shows, all so of you. So far. <laughs> uh, Esco, Chris, uh, Tronics, she weather. It's true, indeed. Um, we don't trust this government anymore. Can we please maybe send some medias to go confirm this report, this uh, or report this live? I would so love to go and see exactly. What no, but we can't present. do that. It, sometimes you need to remember that we are setting a dangerous precedent. Yes. Mm. They, they're locked up. There will appear court. I understand there's a lot of mistrust, but we can't set a dangerous precedence because then it's going to be it's going to backfire. Even in the case like this has never been done with other people. Yeah, you understand. Mm. We are locked up. Mm. Why do you have to have cameras parading now yeah. in yeah. in the in the prison? Yeah. And at what extent can we take it? Mm. So yeah, no, let's not set a dangerous precedence. I know this this want and will and no, you want, mm. but like, calm down. I just want to go and see where this place is. your bra, You can just go as a bra. Chase, we saw any dangan. Yo, now, okay, if I, <laughs> the comments, while I'm reading, they keep coming in, so um, I'm not going to get yes, to the end of Yes, let's get to the... So we can talk about uh, the president's address yesterday. Yes, the <clears throat> president's address yesterday at, was 8.30? Yeah. Yeah, 8.30. It was what? pre-recorded. Mm. It was pre-recorded. Oh, uh, well, I mean, what stood out to me was, uh, I mean, he cited some Article 43 or whatever of the Constitution mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, uh, you know, if a person is convicted but is fined... Uh, not incarcerated. Yes, Let's first get background on what has happened. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Is that, I'm just saying that's what's Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For, for, for those that don't know, I, mean, I always like to assume people, not everybody knows. Um, that's why they love you. <laughs> I'm a journalist. <laughs> yeah, Maria is a journalist here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you just want to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the president um, made his um, post-win, I would say, um, uh, message. I think uh, there are a lot of things that he said. I mean, I'm just sh the short of it is that, you know, thanks for electing me. Um, I'll do better, improve yeah. conditions. I've, I've heard you. Um, spoke on, on corruption. The, the standout was obviously that he announced that um, not only... Will they withdraw uh, former ministers Saki Shangala and Bernard Esa from National Assembly? Because they're on National Assembly right now. They've been withdrawn, but they've been removed from the Swapo, Swapo Party and National Assembly list for 2020. Yeah. Meaning they, next year they will also not go to Parliament. Mm. And then, but then in the same breath, he says, yes, but he's also noted that there's also discontent with. Um, some other people on that list that had been convicted of crimes and to that they will basically remain you need to remember it's not the, the person made it clear that it was the Politburo's decision mm. so it's not his decision it's Politburo's set mm. and um, he said that uh, this article that you spoke of I don't know what 47, 43, 46 whatever on, it's, it's no, I can say Dr. Itulani he <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> he said that it, it allows, basically it allows you to go to National Assembly if you were given the option of a fine. Mm. Mm. So the only time you don't go is if you are not, if you are convicted and sentenced without the option of a fine. Mm. Now, the problem with that is what we're ultimately saying is the punishment is more important than the crime committed. Mm. <laughs> because if you kill somebody, 
and you walk away with a fine like mm. jail time with the option of a fine and yeah. you pay the fine mm. yeah ultimately you're saying that the crime doesn't really matter because yeah. you had an option of a that is it, it, that for me is a dangerous precedent yeah. in mm. itself <clears throat> but that's the gist of it and i know a lot of people are angry saying oh but uh, kind of a bit of a contradiction because mm. that's those ones that you withdrew from the list are not even convicted yet yes yeah. they're in prison but they're yeah. not convicted they're not convicted yet but they are removed mm. so what you're going to keep the ones that are convicted mm, mm. but because they got a fine and then also what does it mean like if this guys walked away with a fine after the conviction yeah. they go back they go back i think it's a very risky move from um, president gankop he's sort of tying himself to to these two guys for better or for worse and mm. i think it's going to blow up especially Not the politburo yes especially with so many arrows pointing not only towards the president but also towards the party with this whole yeah. fish rod thing mm-hmm. yeah. i think i mean the best move would maybe be to distance himself from some of this even if you move them out of parliament and move them into other structures of the party it's, it's not even that for me it's just he said he's taking a strong stance mm. on corruption mm. he said that very clearly i'm going to take a much stronger i'm going to i think he said like elevate mm. so it means he's going to increase his focus on corruption mm. in the next five years, which is right, it's a good stance. Mm. But then you're keeping two people convicted yes. of corruption. Yeah. No, no, not of any other crime. Yes, we're not talking about a fine of a traffic offense or yeah. it's a frohaslan of Fasani. Mm. Talking about corruption, mm. convicted. Yeah. Not like they just went to jail and they were found not guilty, because then you can use that as an excuse. Mm. Like oh, they went to jail, but they're not found guilty. Mm. They were convicted. So they're criminals. In our mm. eyes, mm. in the in eyes of, eyes the, of law. the law, yes, yes exactly. They're criminals, convicted criminals, mm. um, for corruption, for <laughs> corruption. Yes, and you're saying, but you know, we will overlook their corruption because they got a fine, a slap on the wrist. Slap on the wrist. It's like I said it yesterday, you can't be standing with the corrupt people and talking about you want to fight corruption. It doesn't make sense. It, yeah. it, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't stand yeah. up in the face of reason. It doesn't. It doesn't comfort us. It doesn't give us a semblance of like mm. assurance. I, I I just wonder what uh, I think. There's a clean up campaign, as they say, by the the new minister Kawana, in terms of what really happens. The, in the Ministry of Fisheries at the moment, mm. there's been over 5,000 applications for new fishing rights. Um, there's just been lying in limbo at this moment. Mm. Um, <laughs> I just wonder, maybe from here going forward, what, what the position of the Ministry of Fisheries would be. Uh, because obviously, operationally, um, things need to move forward. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we sitting with bated breath and I know a lot of people are waiting to hear what, what will We're happen. We've been waiting that, for the CEO to be arrested. I mean, look. What CEO? Which one? Fishko. <coughs> oh, okay. He's been suspended, I believe. No. When? I saw, yeah, I, I think I saw that in one he's of the, been, he's, in he's one of the daily. Oh, the now? Yeah. yeah. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday it happened. Yeah. Finally. Because initially we were like, what, for what, what, I haven't seen the papers. Oh, yeah. all right. Mm. Yeah, he's been suspended. Yeah, yeah no, no, they gave him too much time in front of the shredder. But, but, but you know, guys, <laughs> <laughs> shred the documents. But you know, like, no, normally in cases like this, right, it is the, 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 the employees, you know, the, the regular guys in the company who normally end up giving um, the prosecutors all this uh, useful information. Do you foresee people within Fishco, with even even within the ministry, to come out with you know some more information about how things paid by who and? The right thing to do mm. is number one, suspend the whole board of Fishco, right? The entire board, mm. whether they're implicated or not, just suspend. Su- y- y- Can you be- no, remove them. Mm. Okay, because their chairperson is, has been implicated. Mm. So we don't know what was discussed, how far yeah. this rod goes. Mm. Sus- remove them. And then the second thing, and not because they're guilty, just because you want to, what do you say, give the public, um, is that word that you use, like for the public to just kind of give them some sense of, you know. So you like sort of appease the public. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, but okay, listen, anyway. Um, so that's the first thing you should do, remove the board. And then the second thing, like like now that they've taken this decision was to, to suspend the the CEO so that investigations can go forward. Yeah. Mm. And number three is stop this the fishing the what is it quotas. the tender the quotas mm. 
start that process from scratch. Yeah. Tell me, do you guys have any idea, I mean, this unconfirmed rumors that um, um, Saki Kadila, mm -hmm. that he skipped the country, is he, is he in the I, country? I don't or I, the, okay, that was, um, I think people should also be very careful where they get the information from. I'm not saying it's wrong, yeah, but mm -hmm. it's definitely not from like a news outlet, so mm -hmm. to say like a credible news outlet. I don't think so, like... Mm. Okay. I don't think um, so, but we don't know. It's unconfirmed. I want to I wanna quickly touch on this one comment mm -hmm. because there's one person who is also sort of implicated in this whole thing that um, nobody really wants to mention and I kind of understand why. Mm -hmm. uh, Alfred <laughs> Ipinge. <laughs> the question is, where exactly did the 17.5 million in Cesar Namanje's legal trust account end up yeah right? there's an order trail that is going to end up revealing the file has dished up so far yeah. word on the street mm. please cut it to word right. on the street the cut tura right. times mm. is that uh saki kadila amomo and uh, his wife have disappeared and were spotted in cape town leaving me wondering where deputy minister derek Klassen and his partner in those two uh, property developments in Kwisab Munda Naraville is at right now. Look, and of all I can say always stands to the left in the dock, which is ESO in this case. Otherwise, they will have to shift around in court, which degrades their dignity. Mm. That is the reason for their specific order outside the court. Uh, that's a comment from Nilter Blanche, all the way from Swakopmund. But then, would, if, if that's the case, wouldn't. Uh Fiti and Gustavo swap places because I think mm. uh, Gustavo is accused number five. If there's one guy I feel sorry for, um, yeah. you, you know, I've known Ricardo Gustavo for a very long time. Yeah, so have I. And very stellar guy outside very, very of this, guy. what he's doing actually. Yeah, and very stellar guy. I, I was just shocked to see that he yeah. was. I think I was more shocked with him. Yeah, I must say, yeah. with him, I think the others, when I, you know, I, like I said, I, I've said that I, I, I know all these people mm. on a very personal capacity. I'm a smooth uh, criminal. Yeah. Uh. No, but that's not the link. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Right. So um, appar apparently, word, word on the streets, the Luderitz Times, he's saying that Mike, uh, um, I bedank. I eat bedank. Mm. Ah, all right. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, I think um, uh, that, is, that is the time that we have for today. No? <laughs> Listen, the two of you, or the three of you here in front of me. What do you want? Uh, huh? Oh, JC is only. Um, we got two more days to go, or yeah. three more days to go, yeah. and uh, then we will be sort of shutting this down, go on holiday. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> what must I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Cape Town as from next week, Maria. He will let chess. <laughs> yeah, that's a chess. He's okay. going to join, join Saki then. Yeah, okay. Please. <laughs> Are you guys going to go split the cash, right? This is not like going to Dubai. Okay, <laughs> and this is a, there's no Joe Thomas show in Cape Town. Okay, <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, you you'll be going to you'll be going to. The Don't Rasafat. you want to talk? We're out of time. Don't you want to discuss it like tomorrow? No, no, no. I'm just or announced I'm just, to yeah. the. Yeah, I think I think we should yeah. discuss it so we, we yeah. announce moving forward <clears throat> yeah. how the programming will work. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we we should dedicate time to that. Yeah, you know? okay. We're already True. infringing in somebody's. Time. In time, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's glad it's a date. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Uh, it's time to go. We're going to be back on your radio tomorrow. So don't be bitter. Don't be bitter. We'll <laughs> be back. All right? Enjoy the rest of the day. We're <laughs> we, 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 we,